in control of operating system so operating system acts as a resource manager so we talked about system software we talked about application software application software is nothing but jupyter notebook a python compiler or a c compiler or a c++ compiler so whatever applications we are going to run over the operating systems those we are going to call it as application programs whatever things which are inside the operating system it can be a linker it can be a loader it can be a compiler it can be an interpreter so these elements we are going to call it as system softwares what can be a hardware it can be input devices it can be cpu it can be primary memory or a secondary memory so these all has to be integrated so those we are going to call a integrated environment which it is going to provide it is an extensive machine of an operating system which is going to do so now this slide will be little bit interesting to you so if i am having a high speed working memory it is called as a register and it works with nanoseconds if i am having little low speed memory then it is going to be call it as cache memory again it works with nanoseconds if i am going to have a random access memory now if i am having a read only memory then it is going to be call it as main memory it is also working with nanoseconds but if i am going to have our hard disk if i am going to have her hard disk that is d drive or f drive so e drive or pen drive whatever you call so these elements they are going to work with milliseconds similarly uh, magnetic tapes and these are outdated so we are at this junction so at the magnetic disk so next one so next one was when we are talking about random access memory so random access memory is going to be yeah any disturbance so non volatile so if we are going to say one second there is some disturbance 